Hey there everyone, Michael K here. Here is a short definition of bug chasers. The practice of engaging anal sex solely on the purpose of contracting the disease. I ran into a bug chaser a couple years ago on Grindr and he asked me to give him the gift. At first I thought you're joking me and it turned out that he was actually very serious about this. It was quite disturbing to me. Why would someone want to get this? Shortly after this, I watched a full-length YouTube documentary called The Gift HIV. It was an eye-opening experience. Never would I have thought there was a whole subculture of gay community who would want to become positive. I learned that they feel it's inevitable that they're, they feel they're going to get this disease, so why not just get it? There are sex conversion parties out there, bareback and non-disclosure of status at these parties. They are and were happening uh, in most major cities. People are getting tattoos of uh, biohazard symbols on their body to show that they are positive and they feel like they don't need to, sh to disclose their status. Um, just by seeing that on their body, you, would, you should know that they are HIV positive. Other people are getting uh, negative tattoos if they're negative and if they do become positive, they put like a line in over the or the tattoo showing they're positive now. There are online resources, uh, community based to um, ga gather together to talk about, about chasing or gift giving. Here is some examples. Bareback boys, negative or positive. We extend our welcome on HIV plus brothers, and including those who have already involved to full blown AIDS and to our gift givers and bug chasers. Gay extreme bareback. Bug chasers and gift givers Share your stories of giving and getting, of seduction, and of giving your, yourself over to the bug. I find this very disturbing. Who would want to get this? Who would want to subject themselves to this disease? Is it extreme ignorance? Do they realize they have to take medication every day and to deal with the possible side effects, uh, short and long term? To deal with the stigma from family, friends, the gay, mostly the gay community, and a complication added to a possible romantic relationship. Some guys out there just hate condoms. Don't want, they don't want to have to worry about getting the disease anymore if they become positive. That is naive. Some guys' thoughts on using no condoms. If he comes in me, he must be negative. If he lets me come in him, he must be positive. HIV has divided the gay community between positive and negatives in some ways. New HIV cases have been on the rise for some time now. Have we become complacent? Death cert certificates no longer say died due to complications of AIDS. It says died of uh, liver cancer, diabetes, heart disease, etc. And those are mostly to do with, or I would say all to do with ARVs taken to treat HIV. This dumbs down the seriousness of HIV. Every day I'm reminded of it. Every day I have to take my medication. And afterwards, the first couple hours, I feel um, some sensations in my body. I can tell uh, it's different. I have, to, I have to deal with numbness and tingling in my feet. And sometimes it travels up my lower legs. Not having HIV is a gift in itself. Michael K here. Take care, everyone.